Hi, it's Vic Svoboda. Come join today's grid drive. Thank you to Lori Madison, the owner of Madison Customs Bikes, for sponsoring this drive. Be sure and listen to MTFB Radio and DJ Luke Flywalker as he narrates the drives each week and spins tunes to match. We have also provided you with an earbud radio to communicate easily with other drivers using local chat. There is also an attachable handset and a radio you can link to your vehicle, included in the box. Today will be pretty laid back. The main point of this trip will be to showcase a couple of recent additions that some may not have seen yet. For example, have you ever wanted a port on the south coast of San Sara that had road access? Now there is one, and this is where this relaxed, leisurely trip will begin. But first, it is necessary to make a short drive to the dock. Follow the navigation HUD turn by turn, keeping the gold arrow on the nav HUD dot pointed up to get to your destination. If the dot is green and the arrow is pointing up, then you're headed in the right direction. Res a road vehicle while the route loads. Hey, good afternoon everyone. Luke Flywalker here with another amazing grid driving adventure here with a drive today created by Vic Zavoda and uh, it is an awesome drive I'm telling you and uh, Vic's done an excellent job with this. Just a whole lot of fun. No real surprises on this one which is a surprise coming from Vic because he's uh, famous for uh, his uh, spy novel drives which I really thoroughly enjoy but I do very much enjoy this drive and uh, it's going to be awesome and our sponsors today are Madison Custom Cars and Bike and I'm sitting here on a custom uh, Madison Customs bike here the uh, Rebel Rider and it's awesome I've uh, been riding a little bit last night and then again today just getting used to it and it's a, it's a very cool bike got some cool features easy to set up and a very very reasonable price so you're going to get a chance to go to their main store today over on cannery cove and check out all their stuff and their completion reward today is just totally amazing so you're going to be really pleased with that i'm sure it is awesome i uh i've been through the drive once here uh just testing it out for uh, christy and vic and uh getting things set up so I could do a show for you here and uh, hopefully it's going to be on YouTube as well uh, if I get all my uh, video edited here with kind of a busy life but uh, hey I always enjoy doing this and uh, do a little uh, feature here for the uh, video to show people about the MTFB radio player HUD and uh, if you attach it it clicks down or um, attaches down to the lower left hand corner and it comes up with the white uh, MTFB radio box and you click on that once and it loads up the player website I gotta stop my music there and then you uh, click again and you get the music so and that stays with you across sim crossings and everything you can keep it hid if you want to see what songs playing you can click the arrow to pop up you can put it back it's out of your way you don't have to run an extra browser or anything it's just awesome and we do thank uh, Ned Nerb Tribaldi for helping me put that together and it's been a real popular item here at MTFB radio a lot of people tell me they like it and uh, if you want a copy let me know I've got some uh, boxes sitting around with it a lot of people have it it is uh, transferable copy and transfer so uh, you can pass it out to your friends just let me know if you want one hey we're going to get the drive started here with some great music
Welcome to Axel Harbor. Finally, a port that has direct access to the road on the South Sancera coast. It is a GTFO hub, so now, a continuous series of deliveries from Geogeot to the atoll are possible without flying. In general, it should make boating in the western continents more worthwhile. Because now there is a reason to go north of Belisiria. Hey, I wanted to break in here a second. I'm at the uh, Belisaria Fairgrounds and uh, the Mole Intercontinental Airport, a new airport here. And it's pretty cool. The moles have done a, another outstanding job. It's pretty cool. And uh, they've got a, a terminal kind of hangar looking building here. And uh, they have a, a Mole 1 helicopter, LDPW, Linden Department of Public Works helicopter setting up here on uh, the helipad on the roof so uh, some cool stuff here for sure and uh, so that was uh, this is leg two end of leg two and we're getting ready to head on uh, to parts yet unknown so From here, it is time to pass over a large expanse of the center of Belisiria. It is mostly landlocked, with underdeveloped infrastructure. You could say it is Second Life's very own flyover country. All joking aside, it is really nice, and it is great fun for light off-roading, and the people are wonderful. But for today's purposes, it would take too long to cross on the ground. For this flight, either fixed wing or rotor will be fine but you will be making a water landing at this location.
hey, I'm here at uh, McMora Fens uh, Res Zone, and uh, we're going to res another uh, land vehicle and head to uh, Trio Water Beach, which is a cool place. We've had uh, several drive uh, experiences there and with surfing and stuff. I think we're going to the bar there today, which is uh, fine by me. Syria has many beautiful destinations to visit and see, but, unfortunately, not many things to actually do while you enjoy those destinations. That is what makes this beach such a good place to visit when in the area. Have a seat, or even res a surfboard and jump on, and relax and regroup. The Navhat is going to get itself a snack, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Hey, uh, I'm here at uh, Tree Owator Beach, watching the waves there. I'm not surfing today, but I have surfed several times. It's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, it's a cool place. So uh, you get a five-minute break here. <clears throat> I'm got about a minute left, so uh, I didn't get up and do anything in real life that I needed to do, like get me another cup of coffee because I had some IMs to catch up with, but. Anyway, more music coming up here. We got Cake, Weezer, Corn with a cover from uh, Pink Floyd, and Incubus. I'm going to let those tunes play here while I finish my break and uh, get ready to head on. Uh, forgot what leg I'm on. So, hey, I'll be back in a few. that up just a second there click the wrong button uh trying to fly here uh on the river i don't know that they ever named this river 
Bellis area, but uh, I'm heading up towards uh, Sansara. So, I mean, uh, no, Satori. <laughs> I'll be okay. Uh, so, weaving around here through the river, but it's pretty cool. And your uh, mini map set to uh, view property lines and uh, world map textures is vitally important for the, uh, the running firestorm. Uh, set that up it really helps when you're trying to fly like this and stay over water uh, you don't want to get off over the parcels there even though uh, security orbs are banned here uh, not everybody follows those rules and uh, sometimes they're slow about getting those uh, situations corrected so you want to avoid security orbs and uh, yeah I'm moving up around here now I'm not walking on the sun, but I'm standing on some uh, solid ground here at uh, Willow Tail Airport. Fairly new airport here on the southern tip of Satori, and a uh, pretty cool place. It is a difficult runway to hit, though, and uh, I think I was supposed to fly a helicopter in that uh, section, but uh, I took my D-Trail anyway, my Super D-Trail, and I made it barely. <laughs> So, hey, I'm going to start into my uh, rock Guitar Hero set. We got uh, Pat Benatar, Smashing Pumpkins, The Who, Social Distortion, uh, Sonic Youth, Kiss, Jethro Tull, and the Scorpions here. Going to kind of close out our music set today, but uh, I've got uh, one more leg to go here. I'm on leg six, and uh, I think we're heading over to uh, Cannery Cove here shortly after we do a uh, one more drive, but uh, getting in the lift and going down. So, I'll see you in a few here as we do a little driving here on Satori. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's Inferno, the devil's maze It's a good world Good world going back Managing corner ahead, wait for the gun one ahead of Be meters. careful Typically, the problem with following a road to the end on Satori is that there is nothing there. However, this is not the case with this road. 
Here, there is not only the social house, but also a small forest park to the north, giving drivers a choice between peace and quiet, or fun and games. Take some time to enjoy the social house, and then TP to the sponsor's store when ready. It's a good world Good world gone bad Hey, I'm at the end of the drive and uh, it's looking good here at the uh, Madison Custom Store here. I'm just camming around here looking at their cars. They've got some awesome cars some awesome bikes so uh, support our sponsor please and they've provided us with an awesome gift i'm going to show you that here on the video in just a few moments but uh yeah cool place and we do thank uh <coughs> lori madison uh for sponsoring today and also she is a sponsor on mtfb radio now and uh, i really do appreciate that and thank her for that and speaking of that, uh, only sponsors can uh, post in drivers of SL, post notices about their products and events and things. And uh, now I have a new deal for you here on MTFB Radio that uh, if you sponsor a drive, you get a free ad, a free audio ad that runs on the stream probably about uh, 10 times a day in a 24-hour period and you get that for free for a month and then it's 250 lindens a week after that if you want to continue the ad or if you want to get another free month just sponsor another drive so uh, it's pretty cool uh, I was just working on that deal when uh, Lori IM me and asked me about uh, sponsor uh, doing sponsors doing ads on the uh, radio stream here and uh, so I told her the deal so you'll be hearing more about that. But we do thank our sponsors and Vic today and Christy and everybody who made this drive possible. It's an awesome drive. Uh, got to view somebody's recipe uh, truck in the store that we get here. So it's very cool. So uh, the bonus uh, leg has loaded for me. So I'm going to TP down here and see what happens to the bonus track here. I can reload and our good friend Kelsey is also a sponsor here at Cannery Cove. And it looks like we went up to about 151 meters here. And uh, we're gonna drive up, so I'm gonna res my uh, truck here if I got it. Uh, see if I can find it here. Uh, so it's an awesome, awesome gift. I think it's got some features there you can control the uh, tune down the steering or tune it up or whatever you want to do and yeah, so the Devastator APC desert brown a truck that's desert brown so yeah so that baby is really sharp here and uh, as soon as it gets rezzed in here so very very awesome prize it's got some guns I don't know if they work or not but uh, anyway so hey thanks for listening I've got uh uh, how many more songs here? It looks like, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six songs. That ought to be, or five songs, I guess, in the promo for, uh, Madison Customs. And, uh, that might get you to the top here. It is a long drive up here, but it's very cool. We got, uh, Cannery Cove Park here. And Tilsey has done a fantastic job, as always, with this sim. Uh, and she's got a campground up there and everything. And uh, you can spend uh, quite a bit of time over here. Uh, it's very relaxing. So uh, thank uh, to Tilsey, who is uh, also an MTFB radio sponsor. And we do appreciate all her support over the years. 
Hey everyone, Luke here, speaking to you now as a video editor. This uh, video is quite long for a YouTube video. It's going to be like 25 minutes long. Or, and I shot over two and a half hours of video over this drive. So I didn't want to slight Tilsey and Cannery Cove because this really is a cool place. So what I'm going to do is create another video. And you'll see that in Luke's weekend drive number 11. And we'll be taking a drive up this road uh, with Tilsey hopefully and do a voice interview so please uh, stay tuned for that it'll be right out pretty quick here if I can get with Tilsey so hey thanks for watching this is Luke's weekend drive number 10 we'll see you in episode 11 coming real soon take care everyone